In today's video, I wanna go over a complete review of the LinkedIn platform, Taplio. If you didn't know, Taplio is an AI powered LinkedIn tool that can help you do a bunch of stuff such as generating ideas for your posts, automatically scheduling them, see what types of posts are doing well on the platform and much more. Be sure to watch the entire video because we'll be covering a bunch of important things like the main benefits, pros and cons. And I'll also be taking you through the Taplio website to show you all the features and how easy it is to use. Let's get started. Okay, so here I am on the Taplio website. And if you guys click on the link down in the description below, you guys are gonna get taken to this page right here where you guys can see it says start for free. So they have a seven day free trial if you guys just want to test it out at first. And if I go over to their pricing, you guys can see that they have three different plans, the starter, standard, and the pro. So all three of these are billed annually and you'll see that the starter is $39 per month. And with this, you have access to content inspiration, advanced scheduling, and personal analytics. And then they also have the standard plan, which is $55 per month. And this is what I actually recommend you guys use because it is powered by ChatGPT4 and you get access to relationship builders and the team features as well. So later on, when I show you guys how the platform actually works on the dashboard, you guys are gonna see that the AI powered features are super strong and it's very, very worth the extra cost. And then they also have the pro plan, which is for you know top LinkedIn creators that wanna really like seriously grow their audience and so it gives you a bunch of higher limits for their AI and their relationship building features. I would say for most of you guys, just get the standard plan. This is totally fine. You guys can also just get the starter plan as well. But like I said, the AI features are super strong and it's definitely worth the extra cost. You guys can also see that they offer a 30 day refund policy on your first payment. So if you guys are unsatisfied with the tool for any reason, just simply reach out to their support team. And from there, they'll be able to give you a refund. Now, if I go over to their features right here, you guys are going to see that they have a bunch of different things like content inspiration, post scheduling, outreach, and analytics. And they also have a Chrome extension that you guys can download in order for you guys to track your specific profile metrics straight from linkedin.com. So as you guys can see from this picture right here, they have a bunch of key indicators like your followers, your impressions, your engagements, and all that good stuff. And you'll be able to track whether or not this is growing or decreasing. So super useful. It's a free extension that you guys can download. So I highly recommend that you guys check that out. And then if I go to their resources page, and this is basically a collection of a bunch of free things that you guys can use to help you grow on LinkedIn. So they have a LinkedIn carousel generator. They also have an AI LinkedIn post generator. They have LinkedIn trends. So you can explore what posts are doing the best and a bunch of other stuff that you guys can check out. We'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to check out these websites. But moving on to the next thing, they also have a blog that you guys can check out. And that just has a bunch of free blog posts that you guys can read that'll teach you about how you can grow and monetize on LinkedIn. You can even filter them up at the top right here from tutorials to lead generation, monetization, and even personal branding. Right here, you can see the very first featured post is teaching you how to actually integrate LinkedIn with Salesforce. So that's a really good article to read if you know, you're know you an entrepreneur or a business owner using LinkedIn to get sales. Okay, so now to show you guys the inside of how Taplio actually looks like. So basically this is the homepage where you have your queue. So this is gonna include any of your scheduled posts. And if you guys want, you guys can start writing right here. So let's just say, for example, I want to write about top lessons I learned in entrepreneurship. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and number it. So one is gonna be blah, 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 and then two, three, and then four. Now you guys are gonna see that it actually integrates with Grammarly. So if you guys have any grammar mistakes right here, this is a capitalization mistake. It's gonna be able to tell you and help you fix all of your mistakes that you write. And then over here on the left-hand side, you guys are going to be able to see what your post actually looks like both on desktop and mobile view. So you'll see that right here after this line, it's going to get cut off and then people are going to be able to click on the see more button if they want to read the entire post. So this is super helpful in being able to create a better hook, right? If you're writing a bunch of useless stuff in the beginning, they're not going to be interested in clicking on the see more button unless you hit them straight off the bat with a really good hook for them to want to read more. And then down here, I have the option to use AI. So if I click on this, it's going to ask me, what I want to improve my post with. Do I want you know, copywriting tips? Do I want it to just keep writing? Do I want it to make it shorter, create a hook, a call to action? Or do I just want to you know, make it more assertive or more casual? Let's say for this example, I just want to keep writing. So I'll click on that and then boom. So you guys see that it's actually generated the four things as well as a little call to action at the bottom. So if I want, I could literally just click copy right here and then paste it onto here. And another thing that you could do once it generates your text is you can 
can go down here and say, oh, make it shorter, make it longer, bolder, more casual, or more formal, or you can click the plus sign. And from there, you'll have access to a bunch of different actions that you can take. So yeah, as you guys can see, this is where the AI features are really, really strong. And right here, we also have the options to open snippets, add rich text, add images, videos, PDFs, add emojis, and even add GIFs. Now from here, I can go ahead and post this right now if I want to, or I can go ahead and add it to the queue. And then it also gives me the option to schedule or post it next. If I have something at the top of the queue, that's basically gonna push everything down and then put whatever I'm writing right now at the top. Down here, I can also assign labels to my post. So, you know, if I wanna separate my post from, you know, let's say entrepreneurship to finance to, you know, reviews, I could do that with these tags right here. So let me just go ahead and click add to queue to show you guys how that looks. And basically once I do that, it's gonna go ahead and add it to my queue. And you'll see right here, it says you have one post scheduled and it will be published tomorrow. And then you guys are gonna see that it pops up right here. And then I can also go ahead and edit the post by clicking on this button right here. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click this button right here. And that's basically going to get rid of it, but it's gonna keep it in the drafts. So if you guys wanna go back to it, you just have to click on this button right here. And then you guys are gonna see that it's in my drafts right here. Now, moving on to the next part about Taplio is right here where it says my stats. And right now I actually don't have the Chrome extension installed, but as you guys saw from the website, they do show you a bunch of powerful analytics like your followers, your engagements, your posts, comments, impressions, profile views, likes, and shares. And then you can see, you know, which posts did the best in terms of engagement or what posts did the best in terms of views and a bunch of other really good data to know. Now, moving on to the next part is the content inspiration. So under the AI generators, you have a bunch of different things like generated for you, post generator, or hook generator. If I go to the content generated for you, you guys are gonna see that, you know, this is gonna be the place for posts that are generated for you to use as inspiration. And this is refreshed every single day. And as you guys can see, it's loading up right now for us. And so once it's done uploading, you guys are gonna see a page something like this, where it gives you a bunch of different ideas that you can use. If you see something that you like, then you can just click on edit and post, or you can just add it to your queue if you like it and you don't wanna change anything. Moving on to the post generator, this is gonna allow you to pick a topic and a format. And basically their AI is gonna generate a post that will inspire you based on the format and topic that you chose. So for example, if I want to do a top tools for, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose, let's say web design. And then if I click generate post, that's basically gonna generate top tools for web design. And as you guys can see, it just generated it as a draft right here. And of course it's the same thing. If I don't like something that I can just change it. And if I'd like it, then I can either post it right now or I can add it to the queue. Now moving on to the hook generator, this is basically where you tell them what your post is about. And then the AI is gonna generate an eye-catching hook for you. Now underneath the AI generators, you have a bunch of other things like viral content, search mode, industry news, and my saved content. So to show you guys viral content, this is basically gonna show you all of the high-performing posts on LinkedIn currently for you guys to see. And you know, you guys can edit your personalized feed in your settings, but ours is specifically set to things like entrepreneurship and business. So for us, we'll be able to see a bunch of posts on LinkedIn that did pretty well for the entrepreneurship industry. So you guys can see that this post right here got a thousand likes. This one got a thousand likes as well. And this one right here even got 2000 likes. So from here, you guys can edit and post, or you guys can click on these three dots right here and just copy and paste. You guys can also translate it. And then up at the top right here, you can star it if you like it and you wanna go back to it. Or you can click on this lightning symbol right here. And this is gonna allow the AI to create a similar post using the post that you want to take inspiration from. Now, moving on to the search mode, this is where you can search for any topic and find a bunch of viral posts to get inspired by. So for us, you know, we typed in the entrepreneurship niche, but obviously you guys can do this for anything out there. But for this example, we'll go with entrepreneurship. And if I go ahead and click on the filters button right here, you guys can see that you can change it to a minimum amount of likes. So let's say I want it to have posts with at least 1000 likes. I could do that. I could change, you know, when it was published and a bunch of other options right here. But for this example, let's just say I want it to be at least 500 likes and then click on apply. And then now that's going to generate a bunch of LinkedIn posts that got over 500 likes in the entrepreneurship category. From here, it's the same thing. If I want, I can edit and post. I can use AI to take inspiration and create a similar post, or I can start it and save it for later. Moving on to the industry news. This is where you're going to find top news on your specific industry. So again, this goes based off of the information that you put into your profile. If you're in a different industry, then you're going to put that keyword. And from there, they'll be able to give you the news that's specific to what you do. And then moving on down here, they have the contacts. So this is where you can create lists of people on LinkedIn that, you know, connect with you. So you can filter 
through people that have liked your posts or people that have commented on your posts. And from here, you can go ahead and go to the outreach section where you can send a bunch of personalized DMs in bulk. So this is really good for business owners that are trying to use LinkedIn to generate a bunch of leads, right? You have a bunch of people liking your content or commenting. And then once you get a whole list of people, then you can go ahead and send them a personalized DM and then potentially be able to sell them on whatever your business is. And then the last feature right here is the engage feature. So this is basically going to show whatever is best for you and your account based off of, again, the content that you post as well as the content that you like. And then from here, you'll be able to, you know, engage with people, reply to any comments. And yeah, this is super, super helpful because you can pretty much do everything that you need on LinkedIn with this platform. You don't need to go on LinkedIn ever again. And it's great for entrepreneurs that are super busy and they just want to schedule a bunch of posts in advance. If I go over to the settings right here, you guys can see that it allows you to edit the search keywords. You can put in a personal description and you can also put in main topics. Now, if I go back to right here where I can write a post, you guys are going to see this button right here that says edit queue. And from here, you'll be able to edit your post schedule. So if you guys want, you guys can add specific times throughout the week that you would like to post. So let's say you want to post every day at 6 p.m., right? So you would just click on add slot right here. And basically that's going to add this slot right here where you can check and uncheck which days that you want it to post at 6 p.m. And then if you click on advanced options, it also allows you to assign a label to your new slot. So for us, we just, you know, chose a bunch of random times and then split it between the week. That way it seems random and it doesn't seem like, you know, a robot is running the account because if they see that every day we're posting at, you know, a specific time, then, you know, it's not going to seem as authentic. So yeah, just something to consider if you guys want to use this feature. So yeah, super easy interface to use. It's great for beginners. As you guys saw, you know, you literally just click on the button on the right hand corner. And then from there, you'll be able to use AI to help you generate a bunch of text. So now let's go over the pros and cons of the platform. The first one, which is super obvious, is that this is just an all in one LinkedIn tool. Like I said, you guys literally don't even need to go on LinkedIn.com anymore. You could really just use Taplio for all of your content. And their AI tools really come in handy when you're trying to write something. And maybe you need a good place to get inspired from, or you just ran out of ideas. Like I showed you guys, they have a bunch of data and things that you guys can look at, like the best posts. And you can also filter those posts through different categories, depending on which niche you're in. You guys can schedule posts in advance, and then it shows you guys right next to where you guys write, how it's going to look once you guys post it. So you can literally just stockpile all of your posts to go out for the next year, and then just check in with Taplio to see all of your analytics. Now, the only con about this platform is that it's not free. As you guys saw, the starter plan is about $39 per month. But if you guys look at all the features that it gives you, then it's very well worth the cost. If you're a business owner or an entrepreneur with a personal brand, this platform can save you tons of time and money if you guys actually use it and implement it into your systems. Overall, Taplio is a great way to manage all of your LinkedIn business in one platform. And if you're still unsure whether or not this platform is for you, then you can always just use the link down below and sign up for their free seven day trial. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Taplio. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we create a bunch of tutorials and how to guides dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.